Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. In this video today, I've decided to accept a challenge from an online friend, Shannon. You know who you are, Shannon, who challenged me to use sangria in some of my artwork. Uh, that's TLP, this little piggy sangria. It's a beautiful, beautiful, deep red color with, uh, with my male eye. I kind of see a bit of a blue tinge to it, but it's a gorgeous color. And uh, at first I had some trouble trying to pair it up with some other colors and uh, to actually getting it look good. So this was a great challenge, Shannon. Thank you very much. But uh, I think I found a color palette that works and uh, you guys can be the judge of it. But the first color we're gonna use and put down is TLP. This one is called Macaw. It's one of the interference piggies. And it's this beautiful, I don't think I can get the camera to pick it up, but it's a, a beautiful gold slash kind of green with a blue tinge interference piggy to it. So that's beautiful, that's gonna go down first. And then next we're gonna use the challenge color, Sangria. So I know we're looking at it through uh, phone camera lenses, but uh, it's a beautiful, deep, gorgeous red, blood red kind of Sangria color. Obviously that's why they call it Sangria. But I see a bit of a blue flash to it, kind of. I'm not too sure, but uh, yes, next color and absolutely fabulous. And of course is gonna be a great contrast to the macaw. So next, so the piggies don't sink and the cell activator actually has something to hold up on, uh, we're gonna use Liquitex. And this one is the Quinacridone Magenta. Yep, Quinacridone Magenta. And it is transparent, as you can see by the little empty square. So that's our tube paint that we're putting down. And then lastly, we're gonna be putting down some ore. And I mean, but right, what, before the cell activator? What I did was mix the ore up a little bit thicker than usual. I mean, usually for my tube paints, I use two and a half to three uh, to one ratio with my Bear and Joe Sonia. But with a piggy, if I'm wanting to put it right underneath a uh, cell activator, I would mix it up even a little bit thicker, maybe definitely three and a half to one, maybe even verging on four to one. You know, you know if it's too thick, but uh, if you mix them up a little bit thicker, uh, they tend to actually hold up the cell activator a lot better, especially if the cell, if uh, the ore is on top of a two paint, then we're gonna be rocking. Anyway, as usual, that's enough of me waffling on chewing your ears off and boring you to death. I'm gonna zip it and you know where the camera's going. <laughs> pointing down and we're going to get on with painting. Okay friends, so first colour we're putting down here is the TLP McCall. The beautiful interference gold, green, blue. And then next we're putting down the Sangria, the whole point of the challenge. And again, Shannon, shout out to you. Thank you for challenging me to use a colour that I'd hardly ever used. And while I'm giving shout outs, I can't forget my number one fan. Shout out to you, Christy. So this next color is the Quinacridone Magenta. It's the tube paint. It's gonna help everything kind of hold up and hopefully stick together. So finally, we're gonna go in with the uh, slightly thicker than usual ore by TLP. I'm being nice and generous because I'd love to swipe it evenly through both sides of the swipe. There's the cell activator in Prussian blue. And here we go for the close-up so we can see those cells developing double quick. While we're also giving a shout out, can't forget my main man, G at G Pause. Shout out to you, my friends. And also Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Shout out to you, my brother. Here we go for the second end of the swipe. And I love watching these cells develop at double time. So the cell activator is a little thick, so I'm attempting to blow it up and out over the bits of color at the corners in case they're still on the canvas after we spin. So I'm just gonna give it another little blow here, hopefully bring up some more cells. And a good trick is always get the straw out when you can blow with some precision. And as you can see, work beautifully and brought us up lots of cells. So when we go for the first spin, obviously my friends, the video is at double speed. So I span much slower than this. So one spin looks pretty good. And here's the next spin, the anti-clockwise spin. Still looking pretty great. 
I'm going to decide to modify the middle now and probably give it a couple more spins. I also want to get the overswiped edges off the edge of the canvas, preferably if we can, so it's just nice and even with cells on either side. So I think that's spin number four. We're going to check it for movement, see if we have much movement still in the paint in the middle. And if we don't, I think we're going to be good to go. One more spin. And we're going to be done. So excellent. I think I succeeded pretty well in the challenge. I think the color palette works well. The macaw with the sangria, the magenta and then the gold. So please, thank you so much for joining me, my friends. Please like and subscribe. Share if you like what you see here. And of course, as always, happy pouring.